So now, what I want to do here is I want to talk about unemployment. This is the second of the two um, statistics. And in this chapter, what I want to start out by doing is talking about what is unemployment. Then I want to describe the um, labor market chart. That means basically where does everyone fall into um, in this overall economy? Um, how is unemployment computed? Um, looking at a very then important distinction between those who are unemployed versus those who are not in the labor force. And that will be an important distinction because that's going to basically um, affect who's um, considered working or not. Um, then I want to look at the uh, labor force participation rate. Aspects of hidden unemployment. Uh, a brief discussion of how the data, um, how is the data collected. A discussion of how unemployment stats can be wrong. To the same extent that it can underestimate or overestimate, just as we discussed with um, uh, with GDP. Ninth, I want to look at unemployment across race, gender, education levels. It's not the same. Um, it differs greatly across those categories. Uh, I want to briefly look at some of the categories of unemployment, why people are unemployed. Uh, I then want to draw a comparison across countries. Um, you know, uh, there are countries like Spain where the unemployment rate is 25% versus the United States where it's um, significantly lower. I want to then briefly discuss a distinction between cyclical versus natural unemployment. Then once we're within the labor market, um, I want to look at a phenomenon known as sticky wages, and I want to look at the efficiency wage, and how both of those cause um, a degree of unemployment. I'm going to look at the issue of productivity in general, discuss how unemployment insurance works, <laughs> and finally, um, again, a, a little bit of an extension of the discussion of um, the accuracy of the unemployment rate. Does it underestimate or overestimate things? It's a lot to do.